Hi, and welcome to this week's College Planning Tip of the Week. I'm Nancy Steenson with Steenson College Coaching, and with me is Jack Wynn. So Jack, last time we were talking about parents gifting money to children as a uh, strategy for paying for college. I'm curious, are there any other interesting and different strategies that you can share with us about how parents can afford or pay for college? Yeah, Nancy, great question. Again, before we get into it, as always, you know, this is not advice. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. So please consult your own financial or tax advisor. The other aspect I just want to remind everyone is that some of these situations I talk about, the, the details have changed over time. So while the concepts may work, the, you know, the exact numbers may be a little bit different today than they used to be. I want to go back to this whole thing of gifting just to share a real situation, just to show how uncommon or unusual or crazy this, this can be. So there's a provision in the tax code for regarding farmers. So this family, very successful farmers in a very high tax state, high income tax state, they make a lot of money. They grow all different types of crops. They have like a food business and, and related prepared foods business and, and so on and so forth. The tax code says that if this farmer sells their crop of lettuce, okay, honestly, I don't know what the guy grows, but he grows, you know, we'll just say lettuce, but because that's the that's the main business of the farm, this farmer would be taxed on the proceeds of selling that crop, right? It's, it's their earnings, and that makes sense. And in this particular case, the, the marginal tax rate that this farmer would have to pay would be up over 40 to almost 45% between federal and state combined. However, if the student, if the farmer gifted the crop to the student, I know that sounds weird but you can actually legally do that. You gift the crop to the student and then the student turns around and sells the crop. It's actually treated as capital gains. So farmer has this bushel of lettuce, right? Now you have to be a little bit more than that, but bushel of lettuce, they, they sell it at 45% taxes. They gift that same bushel of lettuce. For most individuals, they are at a 10 to 15% tax rate on the same money. So in this particular case, I was telling this farmer, hey, that's a way. Yeah, yeah, you still have to sell the less, you still have to grow it, you still have to pay for college, but would you rather pay 45% in taxes or 15? And that tax savings in this particular case was a huge amount to where it could cover a good portion of the annual cost of college just from that income tax savings alone. So obviously the farmer is very interested and, and, you know, again, there are some timing issues. And of course you can't, you can't hang on to certain crops for long because crops too spoil. But what, if you work out the timing, it can work out as a great strategy. So that's actually one of the craziest sort of gifting scenarios that I've ever come by, but it actually does work. Jack, I never would have thought of it. Never would have thought of it. That is fascinating. And it just sounds to me like some of these strategies uh, are very niche according to a family's particular circumstances. As you say, in this case, um, you know, the man is a farmer. So thank you so much for sharing that. And I look forward to hearing more strategies down the road. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us on today's College Planning Tip of the Week. We'll see you next time.